All right, let's move on now to the third email today. And our third email today comes to us from, speaking of the Flash, Jay. And Jay writes, <laughs> Greetings and salutations, John. As I'm sure you already know, the great Al Pacino will be starring in two highly profiled and highly anticipated films in 2019. Martin Scorsese's The Irishman and Tarantino's Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Do you think next year will be the big comeback of the legendary actor we have all been waiting for? Robert, is 2019 the year of the Al Pacino comeback? Does Al Pacino need a comeback? That's a good question. I, I mean, here, here's the thing. I can understand. He's he's done a lot of not-so-great films. Oh, him and Robert De Niro but, both. But man. Al Pacino is one of the kings of, of acting. First of all, he's Michael Corleone, and that alone cements him into cinema history. Yep. Uh, they they remastered Heat. Heat came out again uh, on on Blu-ray. Stunning transfer. Scent of a woman. I mean, he's got Bobby Deerfield. There's one for you. I love uh, Scarface. Uh, I like Scarface. There's the De Palma documentaries on Netflix, and I watch that. It's good. Um, and Justice for All. Norman Jewison's and Justice for All. You're out of order. The whole court is out, <laughs> out, of out of order. Any given Sunday. I mean, Al Pacino. In every decade, he's worked. Panic in Needle Park, you can uh, you can find a great Al Pacino performance. Even in this, the last, I'm sure there is, I can't think of one off the top of my head. But to me, Al Pacino doesn't need to come back. He's already here. Yeah, he's never stay. left. Never left. I mean, to, to quote um, you know, the Shakespearean poet LL Cool J, don't call it a comeback. I've been here for years. Like, Al Pacino's never gone anywhere. And look... Irishman, I don't know how highly anticipated it is. I mean, it, it is something they tried to get going in the studio systems. All the studios rejected it. But I don't think it's because they thought the movie looked like crap. Right. I think they rejected it because it looked like the movie would flop. And it, you know what? It probably would. I mean, the last time, what was that movie when they fired the big hype? Al Pacino and Robert De Niro, they were both in heat, like but they had no scene. Yes, yeah, so the one they did with 50 Cent. Oh, or uh, not right. I think it was called Righteous Maybe Kill. It was actually. Right. I, yeah. Anyway, that movie was a total financial disaster, right? And so I think they are. They the studios looked at this and didn't necessarily think it was a bad film, The Irishman. They just looked at it and thought this is not a movie that'll make any money. We're going to lose money if we make this thing. So Netflix picked it up. As far as Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, I am so excited about that. I mean, you're talking about a movie with Brad Pitt, with Leonardo DiCaprio. And then with this incredible who's who of Absolutely. supporting characters all throughout, not the least of which Al Pacino, it's massive. Now, you just ran off this great laundry list of Al Pacino films. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you what. My favorite, not favorite Al Pacino movie, that's always going to be Godfather, obviously, but my favorite Al Pacino performance of all time. You want to watch a guy put on an acting clinic? It's this little film, I believe it's either 2004, 2005, something like that, that he does with Jeremy Irons and Joseph Fiennes, who's a totally underrated actor, by the way, brother of Ray Fiennes, or as you know him who's better, in Shakespeare Baltimore. in Love. He was, he, that's right, he was the lead male in Shakespeare in Love. This little movie they did, it was a movie version of Merchant of Venice, and Al Pacino plays Shylock the Jew. And if you want to see an actor's actor playing a role, him playing Shylock in that Merchant of it, which is great. It's a tremendous cast. And, and you, I mean, you put it up, uh, Jeremy Irons, who I think is just world class. Oh, so good. But, and you say he's made probably the second best actor in a movie. <laughs> Al Pacino playing Shylock, wanting his pound of flesh is remarkable. I, I, not quite as good as Daniel Day-Lewis in There Will Be Blood, which I think might be the greatest single lead performance of the past 20 years. Oh. But I'm telling you what, Al Pacino is Shylock. One of the top three best male performances in the last 20 years. If you have not seen it, guys, do yourself a favor and go see it. I have not seen it. I, it oh, makes me want to go. It's so good. Uh, pick it up. Is I, it on it, disc? It's not just the performance. I'm sure it's probably on one of the streaming services. It's not just that Pacino's great. The movie, oh, it's Merchant of Venice. It's right, Shakespeare. Right. It's great, but it's a great rendition of it. it it's, it's absolutely fantastic. All right. Yeah. Let's move on uh, to our next.